Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the ORCA series. For understanding this tutorial, you are required to go through the first six tutorials in working on the desktop with ORCA. Well, this tutorial will take us one step ahead in becoming independent on the GNU slash Linux based desktop in terms of doing office based work. We are going to learn how we can make neatly formatted documents using a word processor with ORCA. So, let's get started. Let's start ORCA using ALT plus F2 to get the run dialog and enter ORCA. Welcome to ORCA. That's not in a desktop frame. Now, open the applications menu using ALT plus F1. Right top expanded edge panel frame. Keep pressing the down on arrow till you locate the office submenu. Now, applications menu access now. Education menu now. Games menu now. Graphics menu now. Internet menu now. Office menu. Oh. Now open the submenu. Right. Have I word? A. Press the up arrow till you locate the openoffice.org word processor and hit enter. Up. Tasks. Up. Openoffice.org word processor. O. Oh. Return. X Nautilus desktop frame. Icon new layer of pain zero items. Application menu menu. Untitled one. Openoffice.org writer frame. Blank. So now we hear Orca telling us that OpenOffice.org Writer is opened with a blank document. Well, the actual name of the word processor is OpenOffice Writer. But, after all, it is a word processor like many other word processors. That is why we find it being referred to as Word Processor in the Office menu. Actually, Orca did tell us that the document is called Untitled 1. We are going to make a document and do some quality formatting in it. Let's say we are writing a report on Orca screen reader. The first thing we will see is how text can be aligned in the document. Let's create a title for our report. A heading is generally aligned to the center. And the text for a title is mostly in bold letters. So let's do it for our document as well. Press Ctrl plus E to switch the word processor into center alignment mode. Right Ctrl E, centered on. As you heard, Orca responded by saying centered on. Similarly, you can press Ctrl plus R for right alignment, Ctrl plus L for left alignment, and Ctrl plus J for justified. Note that this is a keyboard shortcut for the word processor and not an ORCA command. Yet, the change in the alignment is reported to us by ORCA. Now, whatever you type will appear at the center. We will also turn on the bold lettering mode. For this, we will press CTRL plus B. Left CTRL B, hold on. There you are. Orca responded back by telling us that the bold mode is on. Similarly, you can underline text by pressing Ctrl plus U and italicize text by pressing Ctrl plus I. These commands are toggles. This means pressing the Ctrl plus B will toggle the status to off if it was on. Let's write Orca, a FOSS based screen reader. Left O. R. C. A. Orca. F. A. F. O. S. S. Foss. B. A. S. E. D. Base. S. C. R. E. E. N. Screen. R. E. A. D. E. R. Hit enter two times to create some blank space. Return. Return. Now, we are going to write the actual content. Let's shift to left alignment. Press Ctrl plus L. Left Ctrl L. Align left on. Centered off. You heard Orca telling us that the center alignment mode is off. And now, the text we type will be aligned left. This means that every line will start from the left margin. 
Let's type some introductory matter to our report. Orca is a screen reader for GNU slash Linux based desktop. Left O R C A Orca I F is A A F C R E E N screen R E A D E R reader F O R for right shift G left shift N U slash L L I N U X Linux B A S E D base D E S K T O P desktop. Orca is a screen reader for the N U slash Linux based desktop. Just like the operating system, Orca is also free. Yes, J U S T just L I K E like T A T the O P E R A T I N G. Operating S Y S T E M system Let O R C A Orca I S is A L S O also F R E E free. Just like the operating system Orca is also free. Now, what if we want to confirm our text formatting and alignment? Well, Orca has a keyboard command for this too. Let's try asking Orca to tell us the format of our heading. Press up arrow till you hear our first line that says Orca, a fast based screen reader. Up, also free, up, Orca in a screen, up, blank, up, Orca, a fast based screen reader. To be on the safer side, press the home key to be at the start of the line. Home. I will press the key combination insert plus F to hear the formatting information. Cap F. Direction LTR. Family name times New Roman. Justification center. Size 12. Bold. For this, laptop users will have to replace insert with caps log. So, Orca tells you that the current word in focus is aligned center. The size of the text is 12 point and that it is bold. But we might choose to increase the font size of this line to make it look more evident. Let's see how Orca assists us to accomplish this task. If you have gone through the tutorial on cut, copy and paste with Orca, then you will remember that we use the command shift plus end to select a line. So, let's use that same command here. Left shift and Orca, a fast based screen reader, selected. As you heard, Orca informs us that the line is selected. Now, press the pop up button on your computer. Generally, it is situated between the right side control and Alt key, precisely to the left of right control. Now, what we have is a pop up menu which provides us many options. Keep pressing the down arrow till you reach size option. Down. Default formatting. Down. Font menu. Down. Size menu. Now, hit the right arrow to open the sub menu. Right. 6. Keep pressing down arrow until you hear 14 as the size. Down. 7. Down. 8. Down. 9. Down. 10. Down. 10 point down, 11 down, 12 check down, 13 down, 14. Now hit enter to set the size. Return. Press the down arrow once and come back to the previous line using up arrow. Down, blah, up, Orca, a fast based screen reader. Now press insert plus F. F. Direction LTR. Family name times New Roman. Justification center. Size 14. Bold. So, Orca now tells us the formatting information and we can figure out that the font size has indeed changed. Finally, let's save the file. You can open the file menu by pressing Alt plus F and then locate the save button. This is what we did in the copy paste tutorial. But this time, we will use the shortcut for the same action. Press Ctrl plus S to open the save dialog. Right Ctrl S. 
Fame. Name, colon, text. Untitled when selected. The default file name is Untitled 1. Since it is selected, we can press backspace once to delete that name like this. Backspace. Untitled 1. Now, type whatever name pleases you. I will enter orca underscore report in this case. O R C A. Left shift underscore O R E P O R T. The default format for Open Office is O D T, meaning Open Document Text. We can save it in different formats, but that's outside the scope of this tutorial. Hit Enter to confirm the name and save the file. Return. Orca underscore report dot opt open office dot org writer frame. Now, quit the word processor by going to the file menu and pressing the up arrow to find the exit option. Write alt F file menu new menu. Up. Exit control Q. Return. X Nautilus desktop frame. Write control. So, we have learned a lot in this tutorial about how Orca helps us to make neatly formatted documents. Till the next tutorial, this is Savita and Tohita signing off.